Greetings everyone, my name is Vic and welcome to the first lesson of Spanish where we learn the basics of the alphabet on the Spanish couch. Before we start, let's map out the lessons out to give you a sense of direction on our journey. Starting off, we will learn the basics of the alphabet. We will learn about the phonics or the rules of Spanish on our second lesson. And in our third lesson, we will learn about how to make sentences and reading and writing will be covered as we progress in the lessons. Let's back up and get ready for our journey ahead. Vowels are the foundation of the Spanish language, so we need to learn these before we move on to the consonants. To help you better with the lessons, we will need a Spanish to English dictionary. I got myself box compact Spanish to English dictionary uh, third edition this dictionary uh, has the words uh, in English and in Spanish so you can track them down in either language the vowels are pronounced as follows a is pronounced a e is pronounced a I is pronounced E, O is pronounced O, and U is pronounced U, A, E, E, O, U. Here's a couple words in Spanish to show you what I call the chain of vowels. Árbol, Español, Iglesia. Oscuro, uva, árbol, a, o, español, e, a, o, iglesia, i, e, i, a, oscuro, o, u, o, uva, u, a. As you listen to some of these words, you can tell that upon pronouncing the vowel, the consonants fill in the word for us. So knowing the vowel's pronunciation as the syllable can tell you how the word will end. Here's other examples. Baño, a, o. Comida, co, o, i, a. Agua, a, u, a. Understanding how the vowel sound will also give you a heads up on how it's written, unless it's chained with another vowel. Take a few minutes to pronounce the vowels out by pausing the video here. If you're finding this lesson helpful, be sure to subscribe and click the notification so that you don't miss our next lesson. Okay, let's read out the words for you to sound out the words in our practice stop. A, U, A, in agua. Uva, U, A. Cara, A, A. Dolor. O, O. Final, I, A. Gorra, O, A. Baño, A, O. Objeto, O, E, O. There are some rules of the vowels like when the vowel U is right next to the G and the letter Q. I will cover these more in more detail on our phonics uh, lesson or the second lesson. Now it's time to move on to the consonant letters and how they are pronounced in Spanish. A little history treat, we used to have two additional consonants back in 1994, but with the edge of technology and cost effectiveness, these two consonants are no longer standalone letters. Those letters are CH and LL pronounced CHE 
and A. I'm going to pronounce the letters in two words to help you with pronunciation. Let's go ahead and read out the read out all the consonants together. B or or B is pronounced B. Ballena, bebe. C, pronounced C, caballo, cereza. D, pronounced D, dama, detalle. G, pronounced G, ganar, general. H, pron or pronounced or named H, Hablar, helado. A, uh, J, pronounced J, Japón, jefe. K, pronounced K, karate, kilo. L, pronounced L, labor, leche. M, pronounced M, Maestro, medida. N, pronounce N. Náusea, negocio. Ñ, o, ya, Ñ. Nañú, o Ñandú, ñoñería. P, pronounce P, papel, pecho. Q, pronounce Q, catar, quebrar. R, pronounce R, radio, real. S, pronounce S, sabio, secar. T, pronounce T, tabla, término. V, pronounce V, vaca, vecino. W, pronounce W, what, web. X, or X, pronounce X, cero copia, xilófono. Y, pronounce Y, griega, yate, Yerno. Y means Greek I. Z pronounce zeta or theta. Zapato, tenit. A couple things that I want to address with the consonants. H is a silent letter, so we'll most likely not pronounce it and instead we will pronounce the vowel right next to it. So for example, like the word that I mentioned, helado, we will just say the letter E, which is E. The letter R has a soft and a hard sound. When it starts the, the word, it'll sound like a hard R. And if there's two R's in the word, then there will be a hard sound. If there's only one R on the syllable, then will only it will have a soft sound. Z is pronounced with a TH or theta, and this is unique to the Spanish spoken into in the European Peninsula and very common in Spain. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can find our content on our Instagram and our TikTok. I also want to give a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters and members. If you would like a more in-depth version of the practice exercises, join us on our Patreon. Tell me in the comments what part of the lesson you found most helpful in helping you with pronunciation. See you on the next lesson.